Hey, subscribe to the channel. I want to show you guys how to do Christmas lights and how to do them custom. Follow the channel, watch this video, and I'll show you how I made this. And this is just the example. Most of the stuff in your house is under 10 amps, right? Unless you're getting like a big fan or like a heater or something like that. You can go and buy this extension cord or a thicker extension cord. This is just for outside use basically because this is, this is uh, thicker. They're both 18 gauge wire and you can just easily, easily by using this, marking out how much you need, getting this, slide this in here, plug this in like this, take the cap, you put it on, actually it's the other way, slide it on, right? And what that does is when you slide it on and it's done, you have yourself an extension cord. Why? Because you grab this side and you put it on the other end. It's like making your own custom extension cords for your house or Christmas lights. That's coming up soon. But here's what's cool. When you put that in there, let me get the, there you go. See those two, there you go. See those two little, uh, right there. All right, you see those, those metal pieces? Those actually go into the cable right there, right? Because the thermal plastic is a little bit smaller, but when it's actually in there, it's a little bit wider. That's actually connecting to the wire. So when you have that in there and you slide it in, this little piece, because it's got that little angle to it, right? See how it's like angled, right? So when you slide that in, it's pushing that plastic, that, that wire into, that, into those little prongs, which is making you a connector. So what you're doing is with this and this SPT-1 and um, 250, this one's 250 with the thick, up, thick stuff, $99. You can just go and get this one for a little bit less. It's a little cheaper. You get this, you have enough extension cords for your, for your life, basically. So you don't even have to worry about extension cords. You can, unless you're trying to plug multiple things into one slot. If you're just trying to get it to somewhere, you don't need to keep buying these big cords that are thick. Just get these small little cords, plus you can hide them easily. And they come in white, brown, black, and green. So a little bit long-winded. So here's what else is cool. So... Where's my cord? All right, so this is the, what? Female end, right? So you put this in here, you get your female end set up, you slide it into the slot, basically, you just go in here, like that. Sorry, I'm trying to do it by the camera. Put it in there like this. Take your top, see the, see the stopper? So you wanna use this end. Plus you can see that in, so that's the smaller end where like the middle where it goes in. Slide it in, all the way in, and there you go. Now you have your female end. Let's make the male end, same exact thing. This is actually what I've been using for Christmas lights, so this one's a little bit dirty. All right, same exact thing, right? Two prongs, whatever, put it in there, push it down. Now you know this wire is perfect for it because that wire goes in here. Say you use the an SPT2 with an SPT1, which I did for Christmas and it stunk because it was too loose in there. And for me to get those prongs in there, see how when you get it in there, hold on. See how when you get it in there, it's still kind of loose when you're in there. So those prongs never went in the middle. So one of them missed and I had to like spread them apart and get them ready and slide them in correctly. But when you have a thicker wire, the right one, when you slide it in, right? Slide it in, it's not gonna move. If you did that with this, it's not gonna fit, right? Because this is just two with a one. But if you go with a one, with a one like you should with everything else, once that slides in there, right? It's not gonna move. It's perfectly fit. So slide that in there. On like that, take this, find the stopper. Obviously you can't put it in, you can only put it in one way. 
and then you slide that top all the way flush. Now you got yourself a little extension cord. Make it as long as you want, right? Now, another cool thing. Say you're going in, it's just like with Christmas lights. Say you wanna do another one and daisy chain it to this. Say you have a, a, a light or uh, something and you know that it's not gonna be more than 10 amps and you have this. Here's the cool thing. I'm gonna have to do it with, I'm gonna do it with a, um, find a theme, let me find a, there it is. There. Say you wanna add more to this right? You want to add another line, right? You want to plug something else in. What you would do with the female only, because you can only do it with the female. Let me get you closer. Hey, what's going on? There is a spot, females only, that has this piece right here, right? I'm going to use these clippers. You don't have to. You can just use pliers. What you do is you just take it and pop it off. How cool is that? So you now have a through line that you literally just place it over top like this. Obviously this is a two and that's a one. Put this over top. You take your slider, you put it in, you slide it on all the way. This won't work, but let's just pretend it's, it's on there. Actually, I'll just put it on there. All right, let's just pretend it's on there. Now, you can plug in here and plug in here, and then this will plug in to the wall or to wherever you want it to plug in at. So you now have two going. What does that do? That helps you in your house, especially your house. Say you have three things you wanna plug in and everything's like all over the place. You can actually wire it and have that thing plug in exactly right behind it plug right into it and then say another piece right over here, plug in here, and then you have everything custom hit, custom cut to you. How cool is that? And it's, it's that easy, it's that easy. And you can get it in white, black, brown, or green. So you would use the black or say a white if you wanna run it along like a, a trim piece. You can do white outside, say you have a white house, there's not blue, but if I wanted blue, I could get blue for my house because my house color out there is blue. More videos on that because I just painted it. It was brown on brown, god awful brown on brown. But anyways, SBT1 and SBT2, they're all going to be the same 18 gauge wire inside there. Use this at the end, or if you want to get and connect in the middle, if there's already something there, you just put that thing on there. You break that piece off right there, so it goes through. And then you just take this, plug it in. It's all plug and play. All those people out there doing Christmas lights are literally just plugging and playing. They're custom cutting it. They're costing a little bit of money. Why? Because they're, they're expending the money to do it right. They know the expertise, they're smart. They've done it, they're knowledgeable. If there's any issues, you can go to them. But if you're like me, I had a company come out and they did it and then I reverse engineered it because that's what I do, it's just how I am. I didn't know exactly what I'm doing, where to get the stuff. I had them come out, paid a full price, did all the stuff. I took it down myself. I told them I'm good. They kind of already knew what I was doing anyways because they knew I had a channel and they follow me on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff. And they're amazing. Great people, great company that goes around and does that stuff and then does landscaping. Um, but, Long story short, went out, reverse engineered it, saw how it was done, and it was like, oh my God, a dummy could do this. Not saying they're dummies, saying most people that get it done is because they're lazy. That's the reason why. And I, hey, if I might even go out and start doing it, I just don't know if I really want to do that. All right, so long story short, sorry to talk so much. SPT1 is what I used. You can go to an SPT2, which is a thicker wire. You can tell the difference just by looking at it. This is made for extreme uh, weather. This is actually 10 amps. This is going to be 10 amps. Either way, they're both 18 gauge. There's some stuff out there that says one is only good for seven. This one is good for 10. They're both good for 10. 
it's when you get to the distances that it's only good for a certain mile. So be proud, go out there. If you're wanting to do your own with lights, go out there and get it. This, if you want to get the extreme, 250 on Amazon, cost me $90. This thing costs $76 or less. The plugs cost, um, I don't know. I'll have the link out there in the description for them. It's my affiliate link. I went out and bought a bunch because I got to replace a bunch that I'm doing for Christmas lights. And I might start doing it in the house too. That's it. How easy is that?